get into the fact you mentioned this earlier you are you're an author okay i wanted to put this because you've got bible studies my girl okay amazing bible studies we've got There's esther that. we've got is it psalm 23 do you have psalm yeah, 23? Yep, psalm 23 Ruth, and then first, second and third john yeah. yes yes all of them so you are an author you are an lo ambassador your wife entrepreneur podcast host and social media manager that's all i could fit on this page <laughs> i'm pretty sure that you're more than that um is you're this so what you envision your life to be because i know when we're young we're asked mm -hmm. what do you want to be when you grow up or even getting into high school you have this idea of what you want to do yeah. is this what you envision for your life it's so funny because I think honestly, she lives purposefully that part of it, being able to serve women in a platform and speak with women through podcasting. Um, even though when I was young podcasting, I don't really remember it being a thing. So not in that capacity, but generally I would have dreamed of that. Absolutely. From a very like practical side on the flip side, um, when I was in college, when I was like leaving, you know, deciding what to do, I was expecting like corporate world, Megan, like, you know, going in a little, um, I don't know, suit every day, whatever it is. And now I'm like working from home, all this stuff. So I think some things, yes, I'm like, this is exactly what I hoped for, even if I didn't really believe that they were going to happen and other things i'm like this is totally different from what i what i imagined yeah so good so good i can definitely relate to you and i think obviously we're in different seasons where you're full-time in your ministry and that is your what you are pouring into in heart and soul and so with my ministry it's full-time as well and also full-time college so it's like yeah. this balance in between um and i think for me was i never envisioned doing what I get to do, but at the same time I did. And I think that's really yeah. what you're saying. You know, it's like, there's this hope in this dream. And this is what the Lord does is that he does embed these desires and these dreams and this wants and these thoughts where it's like, oh, that would be cool if that happened. You know, like I would, I would like that. And then there's something it's like, whoa, Lord, did not see this coming, was yeah. not ready for this. And I think that is also another thing of the Lord is that he blows our minds and the plans that he has for us. Romans 12, 2 talks about it where it's like, you know, don't conform to the patterns of this world, but allow the Lord to transform you by renewing your mind. But the part that I really love, and not a lot of people talk on it, it mm -hmm. says, so then, this is an NLT version, so then you may know, you may learn mm -hmm. the Lord's will for your life, which is good, pleasing, so and good. perfect, right? So we, we hear all the time, don't conform to the patterns of this world. Don't do it like they do and don't say it how they say it and those are good but it's the second half of Romans 12 2 that always gets me it's that yeah. you will learn learn a process this isn't something that you're going to absolutely perfect right then and there which for me is very hard uh, because you know I want to be perfect and, and yeah. polish and everything that I do but it says so that you will learn mm -hmm. God's will for your life so not good. only will you learn God's will for your life he gives you three things it's going to be good it's going to be pleasing and it's going to be perfect in the sight of the Lord. Now, this is where it's different, right? Because my idea of good, pleasing and perfect looks different than the Lord's, right? Me yeah. mindset versus kingdom mindset is totally different. So I think in your story of this is what you didn't imagine to see. And this was a little bit of what you saw. It's just showing how the Lord embeds different plans and dreams and desires within us because his ultimate goal and will for our life is something good, mm. pleasing and perfect. And, and so we talked about earlier, the tragedies that we have, that's in his good, pleasing and perfect will for us, right? It doesn't feel like it, doesn't seem like it, but it is. And so, um, yes, that was a tangent, but anyway. No, that's so well, good. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true. I love that. That's so yeah. good. So, so good. Um, let's get into talking about social media and more into what you get to do on a daily basis and you do so well. And I am honestly, every day I'm encouraged by what you share. So we're so sweet. We were gosh. talking about, thank you. Um, <laughs> We were just talking about Romans 12 too, right? Conforming to the patterns of this mm -hmm. world and how we are urged not to do so. Yeah. It can become pretty easy to conform to how other people post and create content. So how have you found your own voice and your own way of posting and creating content? Because for me, I'm just starting out. I'm just learning. So I'm really listening to this. But for anyone else, 
who is trying mm-hmm. to maybe not even social media, but stepping into what the Lord has called them to, and maybe he wants to do something different. Yeah. So how have you found your own voice in the way that you create content and post? Yeah. Um, I think for me, something big is always coming back to like what in, you know, business circles is going to be called your niche, mm-hmm. but I think even more so like what exactly the Lord is calling you to do. So for me, like, even though it is a Christian ministry in general, like it cannot, if I am so focused on like exactly how the Lord wants me to use it, cannot look like another Christian ministry. Like it's going to be different and maybe some styles will be the same, different things like that. Um, But I think really getting clear on like, this is the message the Lord has called me to share. Then that message, even though, you know, same God, it's going to all align with who he is, like might be spoken differently than somebody else's. And, and I think it's funny too, because, because there are so many incredible accounts in whatever field you're in, um, or platforms or businesses, some of them are going to look similar. I think it's just, just the way that it is sometimes, but in being able to speak with your own voice and making sure that yours is clear and distinct, and it's not conforming to other things, I think really comes back to just making sure that I am constantly looking back. Does this post speak to what the Lord the original vision of like what I'm doing, what the Lord called me to do, um, I think is so huge. And then I think on a very practical level too, like if we are doing something that's for the Lord, then making sure that all of our content is glorifying to him. So in the reels that we make and what we're, you know, wearing, what we're saying, the music, all these things, um, I think that's really important too, because it's supposed to be honoring to him, not just something that's going to get us like more likes or, or whatever it is. And, and that's been tricky, you know, cause there's trending songs that are like really fun, but they're definitely not going to be like glorifying and you're, you know, hesitant in that area. But, um, so I think pretty much big idea of those two things is making sure that I'm constantly going back to what specifically has the Lord called me, not, you know, whoever else is next to me, not all the incredible women who are, you know, in the LO ambassador group, they all have different messages to share as well. And, and some of the styles are the same or whatever it is, but everyone's message comes from their own story, the things that the Lord did in their own lives. And so making sure like, am I speaking from me and the Lord, or am I speaking from just what somebody else said? Um, Yeah. So I, I think that's what I would say to that for sure. That's so good. That is absolutely so good. And you talked about how it it is, um, there are similarities that are going to happen in our posting and our creating. And what Mm -hmm. I really loved is you talked about the tug of war, really. And this is more specifically in our generation of social media. Um, We're the first ones to tackle something like this. And so there are highs and lows and crashes and burns of like, what we experience with social yeah. media but what you mentioned was there are a lot of upbeat happy songs that are like they can get you what you're looking for maybe it's a lot of likes or a lot of um, a new group to maybe um influence and impact and and reach but the ultimate goal is to glorify god and there yeah. is this tug of war between what you want and what the lord's will is for you this good pleasing mm-hmm. perfect will versus our own um and I think you know speaking on that in every area of our lives is so good because there are things that we can do that will um appeal to this group or will bring in this way but the way that we go about it does it give God glory is Mm. God honored in this and that should always be the question in every post and what you said in every song and everything that we do when your goal is I'm here to glorify God I'm here to Mm. make him known can I make him known using this song like is is this the way that he wants me to go about it and this takes constant prayer too right like and knowing your lane and knowing what the Lord wants for you you mentioned the vision that the Lord has specifically for you this means we can only know the vision of God when we sit at the feet of God, right? Mm -hmm. We can only know the path of the Lord if we sit with the Lord. So I can't tell you what my path is or what the Lord has for me if I don't meet with him on the daily, you know? And so so I think in what you're saying is like knowing your own voice, when you allow the Lord to speak through you, you actually have to spend time with him to know his voice for yourself so that you can speak what he wants to say through you. And 
um, it's just so good just to hear how you have developed your own thing is through vision, knowing what the Lord's mm-hmm. specific message is for you and yeah. to glorify the Lord and what you do, the reels, the posts, the comments, the all the different things, how you respond back to people, which you're so intentional and in responding back to people, which is one of the things when I contacted you, I said first was like, you're so intentional in responding back to each and every person that comments as best as you can. And I think that is just amazing. So so I really mm-hmm. love that part, which shows the heart of the Lord too, to be very intentional wow, in everything yeah. that we come to him with and our questions and our desires and dreams. He answers them. He's very intentional. And that's what you portray whenever you respond to each and every person under your post. So wow. kudos Praise to Praise the Lord. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. That's so sweet. Praise the Lord. No, I'm so yeah. happy. Yeah. So happy to hear that. Oh my gosh. So good. So good. Okay. I promise I do not have you for much longer. <laughs> no, this is such a sweet conversation I love it (laughs) okay so we're going to talk about podcasting because this is what you do and okay it's she lives purposely podcast we know that we know the heart behind she lives purposely now so why did you stick with a podcast or why did you do a podcast and what has the journey of doing a podcast look like for you yeah that's so good I um So like I mentioned earlier, it started with kind of interviewing people, then transformed into blogs. Um, And I feel like the journey of Sheila's Purposely has been very like, okay, let me try and see if this is what the Lord would have me to do. Okay. And maybe not like, and this one, you know, it's like, how many sweatshirts can I make? And all, you know, so many things. And I'm ultimately like, I think trying to scale back where podcasting came from, scale back and be like, what is it specifically I want to do? I want to talk with women like about living purposefully, about living for Jesus. And while merch someday could be like amazing and I'm so for it. I love Christian merch. It's so fun. Um, Like right now, like I need to be focusing on what the Lord would have me specifically to do. And, And I felt like podcasting was a really great way to communicate with people and share about Jesus. And so transparently I started it, um, in a pretty like rocky season of life, but it was something I knew I wanted to do. I was just so busy, so many things going on and I had no idea what I was doing. Like not a clue. I actually had a friend who was visiting from Washington state, um, at around the same time. And it was perfect because one day we just sat down and she knew exactly what to do. She was like, this is how you're going to edit it. This is how you're going to record. This is like, you need all the stuff. And she showed me how we spent hours. We recorded the first episode, like all of these things. Um, So that was super helpful too. But just very practically, I had no clue. And I felt so overwhelmed Googling things. Like it was just such a blessing that she was there. Um, But since then, I feel like it has been just such a blessing. I love the podcast. Um, It is probably, it just is like, I feel like right now the core of Sheila's Purposely and the content that, that we put out there, um, the guests that we've been able to talk to and to just, I think being able to, or I guess what I should say is a lot of the content that we create on there is from people on Sheila's Purposely on Instagram. So I just actually yesterday put out like, what do you want to hear on the podcast and got a flood of things. So that's going to be like, you know, the rest of the year pretty much, but um, just different topics to talk about and things like that. So being able to directly talk to people about what their questions are, what they're struggling with in their walk with the Lord and purpose and all of those things has been incredible. Um, and just and just growing it in that way, I think it has just been the sweetest thing. That's so good. Honestly, that's actually something that I want to do on my podcast as well is doing Q and A's where it's taking what people are going through right then and there and speaking on it and asking the Lord, like really offering it up to the Lord and saying, Hey, what do you want to say to this? Because it's not us speaking. It's the Lord wanting to speak through us to those specific things. And so I just love that that is where you're in right now. And I do want to talk about your, you are a social media manager. And so what you do is so unique and specific to you and how you go about um, helping people create Mm -hmm. content and like guiding them along the way. Why did you choose to do this, right? Because you have something where you're constantly pouring out, creating content. And so taking the time to help others, where did that come from? Yeah, that's so good. Um, It started, so when I began, she was purposely 
I had just kind of finished an internship for social media and felt like I kind of, you know, knew what I was doing, quote unquote, and realized that I had so much learning to do and I still do. And I think we all do all the time. Um, and praise the Lord, I had a sweet friend who was so busy on her own. She was in school full time, all these things who decided to come along and help me just volunteer for months. And we were just navigating Instagram and all of these webinars and questions and courses and trying to dive into that. And um, how can we better use this platform to speak the mission of She Lives Purposefully and to speak what God would have us say here, you know? Um, and since then, now she's a teacher. She's like gone on and she is, she's one of my best friends. She's incredible. But I think during that time and just go, looking back at the time, I was like, we went through so much the thick of it to try and figure out how to best do this. And, and it starts hard because you're like, what, like, if you have this idea for a platform, what do you even want that to look like? And it can go in so many different avenues. How do I communicate this? Well, how do I make sure people are seeing it? All of these questions that are not even related to, you know, growth and trends and all those things. You're just like, I just want to get this out there. Well, even, um, and so I was thinking to myself, like, there are so many other incredible accounts out here. Um, that I just want to be able to help them the way that like we worked so hard to figure it out and praise the Lord she walked with me like that whole first stretch of the way which was unbelievable and I'm like I want to be able to do that for other people too like I want to be able to help them in that and help them communicate what the Lord is calling them to help them promote what the Lord is calling them to because and and I work with you know like whether it's Christian accounts or just businesses whatever it is I work with on a variety of accounts. Um, but especially with Christian accounts, I just love, I think it's so important to have them on Instagram. I think we need them so much more. And so I want to be able to step in and serve people so they don't get too discouraged to then be like, never mind, like I don't want to do this anymore. So that's kind of, yeah, that's kind of where that rooted from. That's so good. It's like you're serving the Lord through Sheila's Purposely podcast and Instagram and all of these different things that you're stepping into. But then you're like, I'm going to serve the Lord's people, right? Mm. And the Lord talks about in the Bible that what you do to the least of these, you have done to me, right? What you do to the people that I have created, essentially you're doing to me. And so for you to take the time to serve other people and say, hey, I want to help you not forfeit, abandon, and neglect what the Lord has specifically given you through this. And I, I love the word that you use, which is serving. And that is what mm -hmm. the Lord has called us to do. And leading, again, this is kingdom mindset versus what we think. And kingdom mindset, leadership is servanthood. And mm -hmm. so when we serve people, we're actually leading them. Um, you may not have the title of a leader, but the way that you serve and meet and wash the wow. feet and feed the, the faces and hug the, the homeless and, and those who are grieving and mail the letters and what you do to serve other people is what true leadership is to Christ. We see that mm -hmm. in his life here on the earth and how he has done it, how he has walked. He has not wagged his finger in front of people telling them this is what you should and should not do. He has gotten with them and loved them and served them and looked them in the eyes and grieved when they grieved, you know? And so I feel like your story is I'm going to get in there with them. I'm going to mm -hmm. hold them up when their, their hands start to waver, when they get tired, when they're getting discouraged and they happen, even things for Jesus. When we do things for Jesus, discouragement, doubt, insecurities, yeah. being overwhelmed come in like a flood, probably more so than anything else because you're living for something or someone higher than ourselves and that's the Lord. Um, and so I love that you serve other people in that way. You're just amazing, Megan. Like you're what? so kind. I just feel so encouraged. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You should, because what you're Lord. doing is so the Lord and you should be um, encouraged and, and exalted in this, in the sense of like, keep doing what you're doing because you're making a difference mm. for the kingdom and for the glory and for the name of mm. the Lord, which is the ultimate goal, Praise right? Lord. You are living purposefully. And that is amazing. I so love sweet. it so, so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Just, yeah, all truly all glory to him. He, he's yeah. so faithful and so good. He is so faithful and good. Last two questions. I want you to share with us, what's your purpose and passions in life? Mm. So I, I love this question. I think generally we all have one purpose that's the same, and that is to glorify God, to love God, and to love other people. I think that's huge, but I think that the Lord does that in different ways in each of our lives, and it's kind of the purposes that we're chasing, and we want to know, you know, all of that, 
Um, I think right now, my purpose is super aligned with my passion, which is just to serve women in Christ and just to encourage them in what their walk with the Lord. Um, in, in whatever that looks like right now, a big part of it, I lead a girl study at my church and I have She Lives Purposefully. So doing those two things is incredible. And they're both my passion. Who knows what it's going to be in a couple of years? You know, I feel like the Lord has different seasons in our lives and things change and ebb and flow and all of that, but the Lord is in them all. So I would say big picture, just to always be loving God, glorifying God and loving people and small picture right now to, to encourage women in their faith. Wow. So good. So, so good. And you are right. There are seasons for everything and the Lord is mm-hmm. in all of them. So yeah, who knows what the next month of your life is going to hold because right. the seasons of the Lord, I mean, they oh gosh, just yeah. change. like, <laughs> Lord, I thought we were going to start in the fall, you know, yeah. like, like, <laughs> we'll start tomorrow, you know? Right. Um, so, so good. Last question, Megan. And this is what I feel like you do so well and, and correct me if I'm wrong, because we go through ups and downs. How do you balance posting mm-hmm. about Jesus and also spending time with the Lord? Yeah, that's so good and so necessary because I think we can very easily get caught up in the trap of just like um, posting, you know, and, and just, oh, well, I'm like sharing encouragement, so I'm good, you know, kind of thing. But to come back to the fountain that is going to pour into us so we can pour out is so vital. Um, What I would say, and I'm definitely not perfect at this, and I wish that I was, you know, and I think we all sometimes struggle with these things. But one really big important thing I would say is just to make it a priority and schedule it in if that's necessary. That's something that I do in my own time. Um, Just making sure that like I'm going to bed early so that I can wake up early and make sure that I'm spending time with the Lord. And then another thing too, is just like podcasts and worship and making sure that he's kind of throughout my whole day. So it's not just like a couple minutes in the morning and I'm done for the day, because especially if you have across the board, hundred percent, this is so vital for every believer. But if you are in a capacity where you're pouring out, whether you're a pastor, you have a ministry, you have a podcast, whatever it is, and you are sharing Jesus, you need to be poured into by those things. You know, if you have a business and you're sharing like how to become a social media manager, then you better be studying up on those things all the time, you know? So I think it's so important um, to, in a different uh, perspective, I guess, making sure that it's not only for that reason, only to pour out, you know? Um, but I would say, yeah, I, I think it's really important too. I like doing it in the morning. That's just me. I have friends who love doing it at night and that's what works best for them. Um, but making sure that I schedule something in because uh, my whole day is scheduled. So otherwise it's, it's gone, you know, I, I can so easily put it aside, but scheduling it in, I think it's really helpful to do that. Absolutely. I love your transparency and sharing like your whole day is scheduled. You have different things that you get to be a part of and get to put your hands into. And so if you do not schedule in the Lord, then you really put him to the side. And that is honestly a battle that another tug of war that can happen in our Christian faith. We were listening to some sermon. I don't know who said it, but um, they were talking about, you know, imagine like every time you go and meet with the Lord, you get tired or every time you're trying to pray, like you, your mind is going everywhere. Obviously the Lord, the, the enemy does not want us to spend time with the Lord. So distractions may come, but your intentionality to like Mm -hmm. make time and carve time and, and remove distractions, whether that's your phone or like closing the door so that you don't hear a conversation down the hall or, you know, like making those things because ultimately the enemy does not want us to spend time with our creator. Mm -hmm. And so it's, normal and it happens that when you make time for him you're tired right it's normal and it happens that when you make time to go and worship you don't feel like it you know but it's going past that it's going beyond that and saying I'm just going to give it the best that I can even if I'm Mm -hmm. sleepy even if I don't want to even you know what I'm saying and um it's so good. And what you shared about incorporating the Lord throughout your day, that's something that I do. I think in the season that I'm in, because I'm able to do school online. And so I'm home mainly all the time. Yeah, Uh, (laughs) me too, girl. I hear you. 
<laughs> it's so good to have that constant flow of Jesus throughout your day. Again, through podcasting, you guys should look up She Lives Purposely, just saying. It's a great <laughs> podcast. Um, so and it's through like worship and sermons, just having this flow of where even if I cannot sit down right then and there to read a scripture, I hear the Lord's words through Priscilla yeah. Shire or, you know, through someone that is reading the word of God and vocalizing his truth. And um, so I think that's so important. And anybody, just like you said, in business and social media and ministry, like making sure that we're not just exerting ourselves. And this is something that I have been convicted on and challenged by, by my people is not pouring out so much without being yeah. filled up. And so, uh, so whatever you're doing, definitely pour out. I mean, the Lord has given you the capacity to do so, but also fill up and how mm. you do that looks different for everybody. But I love the example of just incorporating the Lord throughout your day on your way to work listening you know turning on the radio and listening to some songs or a podcast or maybe cutting that all off and talking with the lord on the Mm. way to work you know you're going to work so there's so many different things and um megan you're amazing and honestly this is just so good i am blown away by you i'm encouraged deeply by you i'm grateful for you to know you to have met you to hear from you and to see how the lord is moving in your life you are awesome you are so sweet oh my gosh it, you are incredible the words that you've shared today have just been like so powerful so encouraging to me and yeah the lord has just spoken through you and i'm so so encouraged by this conversation too oh my gosh it's been so good i hope you guys have been encouraged listening or watching us today this is amazing and before i let y'all go before i let you go megan can you pray us out absolutely my absolute pleasure heavenly father We just thank you so much for every single person listening to this conversation, Jesus. And we thank you so much for Lexi and just the words that you have given her, the ministry you have given her, God, how you are using her, Lord, you are working through her and working just in her. And we praise you, Jesus, because you are doing that. And I just lift up every single person listening, God, I pray that you would be with them, encouraging them. And whatever they are going through today, Lord, whether it is the best season of their life or the absolute worst or something mundane in the middle, God, I pray that you would just reassure them, Jesus, that you are with them. Speak to them just so intimately today. And I pray that you would just keep on their minds, God, to continue to seek you, to live for you, to live purposefully, Jesus. And we just praise you for each and every person. Thank you so much for this conversation in your name. Amen. Amen. So, so good. Megan, I have enjoyed having you. Thank you so much for being here on Lava Lexi Howl. Thank you guys for watching. I love y'all and I will see y'all in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Thank you guys so much for listening to Lava Lexi Howl. I hope today has been so fun for you to listen to the conversation today. I'm absolutely grateful to chat with you guys each and every month, sitting with special guests, or we just talk one-on-one about whatever the Lord has put on my heart. And I'm just grateful that you get to be a part of it and that I get to be a part of your life, which is so special and unique to the Lord. And I'm just grateful for you. So I hope that this has been an incredible encouragement to you. If you have not already gotten your copy of my book, Dear Broken Girl, you can get that on Amazon. Now, if you want a signed copy of my book, you can simply send me a message on my Instagram account at Dear Broken Girl or my Facebook account at Dear Broken Girl and let me know you want a signed copy. Be sure to get Dear Broken Girl for yourself, for your mama, for your friends, for your family, and even for a stranger. This book is to teach and remind you of your worth in Jesus. And I just want you to be equipped in what he's already called you to and to be empowered to do the things that he has set for you. So that is Dear Broken Girl. Please be sure to get your copy. Um, Also, I want to let you guys know about my new podcast, 
podcast called Truth Be Told. It is found on YouTube, on Apple, on Spotify, and a lot of other platforms for you to go and check out. It is a conversation that happens each and every other Tuesday, along with some bonus episodes that I have throughout the month. And I just want you guys to be a part of that movement, that conversation, and just what the Lord is doing. So head over to the YouTube channel, head over to the podcast on different streaming platforms and listen to those conversations and be sure to subscribe to that as well. Um, I'm just grateful for you guys and I am so excited to take this journey with you. But before I let you leave, can I pray over you? Father, I'm thankful for those who are listening to my, me right now. I pray that you would bless them. I pray that you would comfort them. I pray that you would guide them. I pray that you would give them clarity and, and just hope for the things that you have for them. Would you use them for your glory? Would you bless them for their good? And would you let them know how loved they are by you? You are good, you are holy, and we are just so thankful to be loved by you, Jesus. It's in your name that I pray. Amen. Amen.